Beverly Hall family, we have so many exciting updates for you, but before we go into all of them, yes. we're gonna share with you where we've been because the past like month and a half has been a crazy journey for us. You guys know that our life is really full of a lot of unexpected twists and turns. Um, and as much as I love being a planner and I love planning out everything, sometimes life just takes an unexpected twist and you have to improvise as you would go along. So, one thing that I feel like is huge that we didn't necessarily speak about on here because we really just wanted to deal with it privately. I didn't post even that many TikToks about it. Um, I think I did one where yes. I kind of vented yeah. um, just because I was really going through a lot at the time and I have been going through a lot. And, and just frustration. As well. Yes, frustration sets in. So it's like we, we don't want to overwhelm people with things and make them feel wanna, like, yeah. you know. It's like I don't want to put my pain that and suffering and things that I'm feeling on to you guys and so sometimes I feel like I have to hide it um, and it's not that I don't want to share it it's just that I feel like sometimes what we go through is so traumatic that like nobody should even really know about it or or we shouldn't make people even have to worry about it like it feels like a sad movie sometimes and I like to share happy moments and highlights with you guys and I'm sure Marco's the same exact way like we like to keep it positive here but then I also realized the strength and the power of telling your story and at least what you feel comfortable sharing. Um, and with that being said, uh, Braylon had his third cardiac arrest. You guys mm. know that Braylon has been dealing with having heart attacks since last March of 2022 was his first one at 12 years old. He turned 13 in August. Then he ended up having his second cardiac arrest at the beginning of this year on January 1st. And he had his third one um, about uh, three, four weeks ago, yeah, three, something like that. Yeah. I'm not even phased at this point, as numb as it sounds. And that's another reason, like, I don't want to come off like I don't care because I 100% do. That's the furthest thing from the truth. Um, I'm actually just so numb to it at this point, And I walk around as my husband does every single day with a lot of anxiety and built up stress just wondering um, if he's okay at all times because it's something that is like genetic and it's 100% out of our control. Um, this time when it happened, Braylon was sleeping. Yeah, he, was he was over asleep. his grandmother's house uh, under no stress, absolutely nothing. Like that's the weird thing like he's not exercising he's not doing anything strenuous when these heart attacks creep up he's literally just sleeping he's literally just in school he's literally just watching a movie and that's when his heart decides to go into these weird like fatal rhythms um luckily this time was not as bad as yeah last because time. of the because icd he, yeah. implant so if you follow the journey yes if you follow that. the journey he has the icd implant that saved his life like it shocked his heart immediately when it's trigger something wrong or his heartbeat doing something completely different that it shouldn't be doing is an irregular heartbeat basically prolonged QT so oh yeah when that so thing for those shocks, of you that don't know it's yes. called prolonged QT syndrome coincidentally we were just being honored a few weeks prior for yes. saving his life alongside the fire department and paramedics um and then sure enough here it was and the firefighters that came because he was at my mother's house they came there and they said oh my gosh I remember him from the banquet that we just were at yes. so luckily the entire city of Vegas and Nevada like everybody in the state basically knows Braylon and his situation and they're very very like proactive which is a beautiful thing um, but it doesn't make it any less scary for our family every day like it's just in the back of our minds that this can potentially happen um, luckily though we aren't that afraid because he does have the ICD so yeah, it's like so the ICD like really Saves him. Saves it's him. It's like it's part of his him. life. It's, it's, it's like part of him forever right now. So, mm -hmm. so that's all we really wanted to share about that. Yes. Um, Braylon's fine. He's healthy. So that's another reason. Honestly, when that happened, the furthest thing from my mind was creating content for YouTube. And like, I love you guys so much, but this requires a lot. Like, we really put our blood tears and sweat into YouTube into like YouTube. we don't yeah. take it lightly when we, when we when we do our you know y'all like see the real shorts. content that actually feels like yeah. an episode that you guys can follow along yes. with and there's so many cuts and shots and like it's hard to do that when you're in the back of your mind just worried about health conditions and things like that so we took the time that we needed to um, yeah just recollect our mind the next thing that we decided while we were off because Marco and I've been doing a lot of self-reflecting um, is that 
we have this new beautiful home. Yes. Our new home. Our new home. We love and it so we much. we have not did a house tour yet. Yeah, the so last we, update we were contemplating if we were going to do a house tour or not. Yeah. And Marco and I were like, you know what? We are not literally about to let people, the, the little tiniest percentage of people on the internet, run us away from what we've always done well, they can never run community. Me. They can never run us away. They just... You know. I'm, I'm just saying, like, the majority of you guys have been down for the ride. You guys have watched our house tour back at the other, other, other house. Yeah, the house. other house. Like, like, that was a whole nother situation. It's just Glad like, we got out of that. But No, no, I'm talking about the house before that. We did our first oh. house tour oh, yeah, yeah, back yeah, yeah. in Spring Valley. Yeah. So it's like... This has always been a staple piece of content for us. And as much as like, obviously we value our privacy and our safety and that's exactly why we choose the homes that we choose because we have guards and we have 24 hour security and yes. we're protected and everyone around us is protected and very safe. Um, but I will just touch a little bit on, I think mostly my reasonings for not wanting to give a house tour was because I felt very violated. I felt very like I literally haven't even got to tell my audience that we've moved yet and it's already being disclosed by, by the internet and I'm just like why is my address and my home. That's when we was when we first moved. It was like yeah. somebody is very like. I didn't even get a chance to to tell you guys, and I felt very hurt. Like I'm like, well, why? But then I have to also remember at the same time, like there are 34 million people that love our family. Small percentage that do not. Very, very, very small. And like, that's just it the way it is. It comes love, with the territory. You know, like to we care about our home first. Like that's our first priority always to make sure that our kids have a safe, beautiful home to stay in. So with that being said, we've been working on our home decor. Yes, we've been working furnishing our home. It's a big process. It's it's taking a minute uh, because <laughs> it's things got. It's like you want to get the right pieces. You don't want to just waste your money on dumb stuff. And then you're like, oh, I don't like that. So you want to get the right pieces that you want in your home. And you want to make sure it look right. And you make sure it feels good. And you make sure like, okay, I love that right there. You know, because home decor can get tricky at times. You can fall in love and then fall out of love yeah. right at the next week or so. So it's like yeah. you want to make sure you love these pieces. So it's like you want to make sure this these areas are to your liking and you want to present it to the audience in a well-fashionable way. Yeah, and also I just want to say that like we kind of rushed into this house. Now granted, I loved this house before we were even in the last house, but this house wasn't even something that I thought would be a reality for us back then. And the fact that like we had just kind of within two weeks switched our mind, backed out of escrow on the other house, moved into this house, and we were kind of like, I don't even know if we're gonna be in this house. We don't know if we we're gonna like it or what, but we locked in and we're so happy about the fact that we yes, locked in on this. This is our house forever. Um, I'm just really excited about that. I love this home so much. I'm happy to raise our family here to make more kids here and to be your baby mama for a million years <laughs> baby kidding. mama baby oh, i'm man. kidding i'm your wifey but um next update is that marco and i and are trying to conceive journey yes we have been taking our health very 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 seriously as well, well she has i've yeah. been healthy well i've always been as well but I noticed some things that have changed about my body over the years and my hormones being one of them. And um, for the women out there, I'm sure you probably know, like your cycle has phases and there are certain phases that require certain lengths of time in order to have a healthy pregnancy. And I started to notice that my luteal phase was getting very, very short. It was just getting shorter and shorter and shorter. And so I started doing research and I went and I spoke with my doctors and I realized that I was having some hormonal imbalances and I think that it was stemmed from drinking too much caffeine, dealing with the stress of the loss of my brother and dealing with all the stress of Braylon over the years. And it really just took my hormones out of balance. I wasn't exercising as much as I was used to. And so I began drinking bone broth, which if you follow along on my other platforms, you know that that's been huge for me. My sweet friend that lives around the corner had recommended this to me and she told me that it basically changed her life in the way that her cycle rhythm was working. Um, and also the Aura Ring. 
I got the aura ring as well. So I've been doing all these little changes. Yeah, she's been doing all these little crazy tweaks. I'm like, babe, all this stuff, you don't need all this. If you don't know about the aura just, ring, this is like a just sleep eat right, tracker. Work, work out, and you don't need no a sleep tracker, man. It's a Come sleep on, tracker. It's a BBT tracker. So you know when you're trying to conceive, you have to test your basal body temperature every single morning at the same uh -huh. time. This does that for me automatically. This is not sponsored. I'm just so she obsessed. got all these gadgets and gadgets. I've been trying that everything, make guys, to make my hormones <laughs> balance so that we can continue to grow our little family she and our so... and have our little girls. Marco wants to have two more children. Yes. Tell so them, babe, on camera announce. for the record. We want to announce. I'm not saying nothing on camera for the Say record. It. No. He knows he wants two more kids. Like I said, right now we have a big announcement. The though. biggest announcement ever. The biggest announcement ever. Our biggest announcement yet is that Santa's little baby is on its way. Yes. Oh my God, I can't believe Santa's we Santa's little that baby, out. I can't believe you let that out. We but almost had you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all thought we was about to announce a pregnancy. Santa's little baby, if you've been following for a long time, is not I haven't conceived yet I wish don't be mad at us but I haven't conceived. <laughs> I'm trying so hard but it's not working every month do I not cry like am I not upset every freaking month it's a headache sometimes so I've been trying to comfort her in so many send different ways send me baby like... dust please put in the comments send me baby dust baby girl dust in specific but nobody's trying though babe yes trying. I'm very well so trying no we're not I'm, I'm not. very well so trying how's she trying and I'm not trying let me tell you guys We've never had to try to get pregnant. We've never had Nobody's to Nobody's try. trying though. We're trying. No, we're not. Yes, we are. Quit telling people we're trying. We ain't trying. We've tried. No, we did. The moment that you don't use that is when we start trying. Man, because there's a possibility. Girl, ain't nobody trying with you. He's been trying. No, I have because not. Because usually we don't have to try. I and promise. then I just get a positive pregnancy test. I promise I'm not trying. He's trying. I promise you I'm not. <laughs> Why? You know what? You're going to make me not even want it. I'm not trying. She's trying. He's so irritating. I'm not trying. She's Santa's trying. Little Baby is one of the songs from the Christmas album that we dropped with Deck the Halls, the original Christmas yes. album of our family. And we have only really dropped the music video for Deck the Halls yes. with our sons. Like, that was our first priority. We wanted to get a music video out with all yes, of our Yes, while boys. they was young. So, so please go back and watch that because that was our back. first yes. original house yes. on YouTube <laughs> before our apartment. We never yes. got to show our we apartment. We never got to show that. That was like... Wow, so nostalgic. I know. So go watch Deck the Halls the Beverly by the Beverly Halls all Christmas season. We're going to drop Santa's midnight. Little Baby at midnight, Thanksgiving Day. Yes. So it will be 9 p.m. PST and 12 a.m. EST. So yes. we'll drop it on the day before, if you know what it means. Yeah. Wednesday, if you're on PST, and it will be Thursday, if you're on EST. Yes. I'm so excited, y'all. so excited, y'all. Like, I can't wait to show y'all the BTS. Like, like I, can't, I can't wait to, like, just, you know, like, doing this stuff with my wife. Like, I never thought in a million years, like, when I grew up, I was going to be doing music videos with my wife and she the one who got me doing it with her. I'm not even a, I'm not even an artist. She's a, she the artist, y'all. She is the one. But I don't she got know about y'all, but Marco sounds like a rapper on this. He sounds like a legit rapper, and neither. We gonna one of see y'all. I, 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 we need y'all to turn your post notifications right now. And firstly, I just want to say, Marco and I are very well aware that we are not professional artists. Okay. Yes. Marco is a boxer. I'm a nurse. We are just <laughs> firm believers, and this has worked with us. This is the one thing that has worked for us our entire marriage to make yes. it successful is believing that no matter what we want to do we can do it yeah and you can do whatever you want to do and you can do. do whatever you want to do just believe me even you. if you have no idea how to start like yes. that's really the message behind our music because as much as i've loved music since i was a little girl i was singing don't go chasing waterfalls <laughs> Listen, in my mom's like back seat of her car when I was little, I would always sing and I love singing. So even if you're not the best at it, even if I'm not Whitney Houston, I still love it and it's something that makes me happy. So I just encourage you guys that if and there's something- And we did this music video 
we did this music just to have fun with our family and it's something we just came up with, but we decided to shoot a music video for this. Because so you're we can't only going to be young once, and you're yes. only going to have this energy once, and you're only going to be able to do this once. Yes, if so you don't do it now, then when are you ever going to do it? Yes, like, you're going to so look back when you're 40 and 50 and 60 years old and say, why didn't I take that opportunity and do whatever I could in those moments? Yes, and so then just my kids are always going to be able to look back. Experience this life while you got a chance. Mm -hmm. Always take chances. Chances make champions. Yes. Always believe in yourself. Uh, Santa's little baby is on the way. That's the big announcement. We love you guys. And we will see you in the next video. Peace.